Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm probably, I, I think I got two videos of this weekly left in me. And just speaking frankly, I'm not gonna be sad to see it go. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. It's, I don't think it's a bad weekly. I just think I don't, I, I never cracked the code. Maybe like a tropical baguette. Don't see that too much. Maybe like a pineapple sandwich. A little pineapple banh mi. You got me. You got me. You don't got me. Look at that. I, uh, I I just never cracked the code this week, which has been fun. But I'm not really one of those guys in like a video game that likes to struggle. I, you know, grew up playing single player games on medium difficulty. I prefer to, quite frankly, just have things handed to me whenever possible. So, but that, that being said, there is a double standard because I also want the thrill of beating like a real person on the other end. But I don't want to, oh, the sting of defeat. Oh, the sting of defeat. Oh, the sweet thrill of victory. But oh, the sting of defeat. Oh, but the thrill of victory though. You know what I'm saying? It is a tangled web. We weave. We win two rounds. Holy cow, that is uh, surprising. Unexpected. You know what? That we know that, does the jellyfish ever work? No, of course not. People delude themselves into thinking it does, but uh, it could work for us. How about a puppy for a, an early lasagna? And then roll me. And another jellyfish has me fully, uh, what's the word? Copiumed? It could happen this time. Please tell me I froze it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Pangolin. Oh, we lose these. It's devastating. Put me in loser's bracket. I'm ready. Okay, drop me here. Roll me. Come on, give me a level. Come on, give me a level. Ah! Go for it. I'm not going to wait for a jellyfish. And I, dude, I got to say, a bed of fish is actually kind of sick. Or a pangolin. Five health is kind of crazy. You know what, I think I would be willing to sell a horse to get a pangolin out there. You don't get the opportunity, and it's only going to work for one round for now. But you don't get the opportunity to make a pangolin work that much. But five free HP is pretty, uh, my hunch at least, is that it's pretty meaningful. Look at that, and it's on faint. That hurts, that hurts a little bit. I, I really thought we made big moves there. Lasagna. Put it on the jellyfish for now. It'd be nice to get another toy on the squad. It's not the animal we're looking for. Quite painful right now. You know what? I'll sell you by a baboon. At least it has some utility in the future. That's a dog, not a puppy. Roll me one more time. Another puppy. Okay, I, I still there's still positives here. And still give me the lasagna. You're buffing a pangolin, but the pangolin is the pangolin is not bad, man. It's gonna be like a nine-seven. Everybody's running moth. It's a seven-seven. And look, I told you we will not be freaking suck this year. Our squad was not that bad. We just happened to go up against two studs in the last two rounds. And I will I'll level my puppy now to get the buff. And then I will skip. Because I want this lasagna to break ASAP. And then. Don't really see a parrot doing much for us here. I'll buy you next round. Why don't you take this? Because we know you're sticking around. And honestly, in this case, we're probably not running a baboon much longer. This also helps keep our, our pangolin useful because we'll continue to have toys for it to get a trigger off of. Hang on. Uh, we're washed on this one. How are you making it work with gazelle, man? How you got a nine? Because you're, you're just buffing a gazelle. Holy cow, I'm getting styled on by someone that's just putting stats on a gazelle. That's pain. Buff me. Two lasagnas? Two free lasagnas, if we're lucky enough to live that long. How about a jellyfish? Just throwing it out there. Now, you're not buffing anything. That's painful for me. We're going to keep making a strong pangolin. And why don't you just take a, a cupcake for now? My radar for what is a good team in Super Auto Pets this weekly is like all jacked up, man. It's really crossed up. Because I'm like constantly like my team's not that bad. And then I'm getting like three wins with that team. Then I'm like this team is no good at all. And it gets to eight. 
So I'm I'm clearly just like I'm backwards this week. Go ahead. Another puppy. We can just buy it next round rather than taking the skip. We'll take the level for the jellyfish. We're getting a big buff here. The Niala goes crazy this week. Next round is jellyfish chocolate. It's like so late in the game for, for a level two jellyfish to have finally showed up, but I guess better late than never. Still a pretty strong giraffe. Can we, can we just work you a little bit? Oh, you wouldn't by one. <laughs> We're on lethal. But our team is good. Our team is good. This and this. Take this. Two more lasagnas. Here go two more for y'all. Also helps keep our pangolin popping. And then we'll just we'll level you up. It's a nice buff. Honestly, I think I would go like pog crazy for a, for a pteranodon that would have you give 20 HP to a jellyfish. We would, would we sell a moth to make it happen, or would we sell a puppy? I feel like I'd sell a moth right now. We, we kind of got something going with the puppy. You stinky sock me? You stinky sock me? How much HP? 19? I'm, I'm in... It's a fight of my life, man. At least live long enough for the lasagnas to pop. We could also have Nyala instead. We'll give us another 8 8 dog instead of another 10 HP. That makes way more sense. And then, as much as I'd love the puppy to just level, we don't want it to level, actually. It'll buff the jellyfish, but then we can't get another toy out of this puppy. We'd just be buffing it to buff the jellyfish. I think we're better off giving the jellyfish a lemon and then actually giving, like, the Niala, the buff, so that we can get to a 32-32 dog instead of... And th this is assuming no snipes. The snipes could totally ruin our squad. Or maybe we're actually not so bad. Like, not getting sniped would be great, don't get me wrong, but to, to just live through this was also a, a good sign, I suppose. Now we got two lasagnas and the puppy that's beautiful. I think we still give... Well, we really need the Pteranodon to not get killed with a snipe. So I know that seems crazy, but I think that that might be the way. And then three free lasagnas would go crazy if we could actually get it. And now we can sell the puppy for something. I don't really... Komodo's not the right play here. We could also probably sell Pangolin. But we could also level Pangolin. We could sell the puppy. Don't really want a tiger. Maybe we do want a tiger. Hear me out. Sell me. Pizza me, buy me, and then maybe we'll get... <laughs> Am I crazy to think we'll get a 24-24 dog out of this? Eight from you, eight from you twice, once extra because of the tiger. No snipes. Eight, eight, 16, 24-24 dog. Hang on. And you all laughed at me. Now they've got a 16-16 dog. But I have a 24-24 dog. Well, well, well. <laughs> Seven wins on a bit of a funky squad this time. Chocolate would go crazy. Thank you so much. I think we would love the Pteranodon to level. But it would be better if the Niala leveled first. Because if it levels, it could spit out a Pteranodon here. I'm actually using my brain, and it's a scary thought. Let's just buy something, because we're on lethal. That's If, if there's something semi-useful in the shop, it makes sense to me. 16. 48. Oh my god, it's a 48 HP dog. We will not be freaking sucked this year. We're up to 8 at least, and I'm proud of myself for getting there. We actually, like... Well, you know what? Actually, we can buy Pteranodon... And then there's no need for the tiger anymore because it takes us past max. You'll give us... Well, let me think about it. You'll give us 16 when you die. Plus 16. Plus 16. That's 48. Why well, weren't you doing that before? I'm confused. I don't think we need... Like, two pteranodons is too much. Figure out what you're doing with the lasagnas. We probably sell you to put another good unit on the team. I think we could probably just... 
lasagna. I really don't want the pteranodon to get sniped. I'm just going to give it all to you. You can get sold. We can at least buy the pteranodon here. Hang on. This is a, it's a bit of a puzzle. For now, I know how this looks. I'm popping the Niala on top, even though the Pangolin doesn't do anything. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to have a level 1 Niala out there, have it get sniped, and then have it steal trig triggers from the Pteranodon. So it might be a bit of an edge case, but I didn't want to screw up the, the synergies I already got. Okay, you got, a, you got a Falcon here. That's not ideal for me. We got quite the dog, though. It's not going to be strong enough. It's not. They, they got a really good team. And you know what? Take note. They did great stuff with the seal here. I'm happy we clawed our way to eight. With a little bit of extra HP, we might have been able to stretch it further, but... We would just do that. But I'm still, I'm, I'm reasonably pleased with how that went down. Now, what do I lose to all the time in the early game? Frickin' ants, bro. Be a sizzling sardine. Ants are, they're dominating my life in all aspects right now. We got ants in our, well, not in our house. We got ants outside of our house. Went to Home Depot, bought something called Ant Be Gone. Didn't work. Supposed to carry a, a, an allergen inside of the Ant Be Gone that, um kills ants. They're supposed to be like, oh, num num num, peanut butter, and then take it back to their colony. Uh, what ended up happening is they said, um num num, peanut butter, but I guess these ants are uniquely not allergic to it, so it attracted like four more ant hills around the ant traps that I put down, uh, and basically the ants now think that they are invited. So not only am I being owned by these ants in the first place, but also I'm an, a bad guy not just trying to exterminate the colony, but because now it seems like I've given them a gift and then I'm going to later be like, no, you got to go. And they're going to be like, bro, you gave us all this peanut butter. Okay, this is just, I mean, it's just a solid opportunity here to get some swans. And then, I mean, you know what I'm thinking? I see extra gold because of the swan and I immediately start thinking shrimp. Daryl, I named seven other Super Auto Pet Synergies. No, Greg. Finally, I suggested Pteranodon Jellyfish, which I knew she wanted anyway. Okay, we're, this, this squad, it just takes a little longer to get off the ground, okay? How about a sell me? Buy me. Buy, this is a great buy sell option. And we'll take the lasagna, hopefully for some future scaling. Not that worried about a jellyfish. I'd rather roll. I really don't want to keep a moth. It's the most likely unit to be sold right now. I would absolutely take a swan. And I'll take my level early. We can't really sell anything unless you want to sell an otter. Maybe giraffe scaling a shrimp is something I've, I've played. Why, why aren't you buying and selling of a freaking African penguin, man. That's got to be like the best buy-sell target right now. I'm a fool. Hang on. They're, the rest of their squad is not that strong. We can draw this. That's... <laughs> we can't. <laughs> My aspiration was a draw. How sad is that? Okay, it's a buy me. I know I'm not in love with the otter anymore either. Bro, you have to sell this guy because you don't want him on the... Oh, you know what? You're... And I don't want a giraffe. We need better buy cells. Give me buy cells. I know we only got a level one shrimp, but it's... Listen, it's early. It's early. No! I do want you for next time. There we go. Thank you so much. No pangolins this time. Okay, we're going to try... This is basically like... The last stand. When you, when you don't run a moth as a guaranteed one for one, and instead you try to buff a unit to two for one, that's basically you saying like... I'm, I'm no longer using common sense, in my opinion. Even though it seems like that's the way it should be optimal to use it. Oh! <laughs> it tends not to correlate that way in my experience. But listen here, we got two extra gold. I'm actually going to lasagna my swan. Thank you for asking. Obviously, I'm going to buy you. Obviously, I'm going to buy you. I'm now in that awkward period where I'm like, I feel like you have to keep the otter just because it's half decent. Probably we could try Okapis, but instead I've chosen to build my run around a level one shrimp for some reason. We might, it doesn't matter whether you stock or not on that one. And we're rolling, and there's another puppy. If, if we manage to eke out some victories, 
being able to get two lasagnas. And you might say, by the way, why not make two enemies weak instead? There, there might be a game theory instance where that actually like makes the most sense. But I feel like that's kind of admitting that we're not going to get to 10 and just saying like our goal would be to get to 5. I'm, right now on 0, I'm going to shoot for 10. Because 5 almost feels as bad as 10. It's the loneliest number since the number 10. You got to sell me. You got to buy me. Which means we're selling an otter, I suppose, which is crazy. Sure, I love it. Ironically, this probably would have been like a sick jellyfish run. Well, in this case, forget about your shrimps, man. Sell one shrimp, buy a penguin, and then next time... Wait, what's getting buffed this turn? Tier fours? That's like nothing. We'd buff a penguin. Okay, roll me. Keep the puppy around for two lasagnas potentially next time. We're going to level up the puppy. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really think about it too hard. Level 2 beta fish, that's going to blow us out. Okay, we're going to be on lethal with one win. And we're losing like against teams that are better than us and have better futures than us, which is the scariest thing. I'm still going to lasagnas. And I think now we have to, we have to say F the whole squad. Goodbye, otter. Hello, Niala. Goodbye, shrimp. Hello, parrot. With a second parrot on top. I don't think the parrots will cascade off of each other. You know what? It's a small risk. It's not a big risk to take there. What if I just had you explode? No, I don't think you level two. I don't think that's how that works. No, just due to the order of operations here. I think as bad as this looks, Maybe there's a chance that this works. If we spit out a 24-24 dog, I think there's a chance. There's there's summoning a lot of cherries. We, we know we got the 16-16. I'll be honest. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm back. Um, Moose is an interesting one. It gives us a lot of HP. I don't think the Moose is as bad as I originally thought it was this week, but I don't, I don't think it's what we're looking for specifically. Okay, and then to get out of this pit, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take a, a Pteranodon, which will have you... Gener you'll generate 16, and then you'll generate 16. This is a 32-32 dog. It's pretty serious. I don't think Shark's the way. I don't think any of those are the way. You're the way... You do it now. I'm, I'm betting on myself getting a win this time. And then we already know, and this is like the worst part of this, we know that this squad can't get to 10 based on what we saw last time. But what if we just ignored good sense and just did it anyway? Like how strong is your, do how strong is your dog going to be? 32-32? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go! Washed! Wasn't even close. Two lasagnas. Pippin. We need you not to get sniped. We know. Sell me. Buy me. Now we're summoning like a... I think a 40-40 dog. And let's see if we can get some equipment out here. I don't think it's going to make all the difference. But it could make some difference. Washed, 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 rinsed, washed. I guess I'd rather have our parrot be level three. No, maybe Niala because then it gets the Pteranodon trigger. I don't know, man. It, life's hard. It's complicated out here, okay? I think we win. 40-40 dog gets a lot done. We get three extra gold per turn. I don't think it's the engine we need, but it's the engine we got right now. So it's better to have you hit level two first to play with the Pteranodon. Then, I well, we guess we could have you hit level 3 as well. But now I'm like, do we even... Because you're going you're gonna to spit out 16. And then you're going to spit out 24. What does a level 3 Niala do? 24. So this is going to be 40. 
So we're actually overkill now, which means we could sell the Pteranodon or the Tiger. We'd probably be more likely to sell the Pteranodon because the Tiger is more flexible. It doesn't require a faint trigger to be used twice. Now, this is what you don't want to see. <laughs> Little bro's planning his future. He does he know? Does he know? All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We 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 cooked a little bit on this one. We mm, got to the same dish, but with wildly different Google reviews. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.